Welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy, and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And today I have a very silly project that just came about because we were actually invited to a Halloween party this year. So I'm frantically trying to get together some Halloween costumes and I figured out a way to make some very silly steampunk goggles from what else but aluminum cans. So if you look around online, you'll probably find a lot of videos, different people making different steampunk goggles, but my version is very simple and practically free. To make this pair of goggles, you're gonna need four aluminum cans, and I really like to use this draft top tool to get the tops off. I've also seen a video where they use sandpaper. I don't know exactly how that works to get the, just the top of the can off. And some people have said that they can use a regular can opener. I've never really had luck with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the tops of my cans with my draft top tool. So on the first two cans, the only piece I want is just this little metal rim. So I'm going to use a knife and some scissors just to cut the top of the can off. And then I'll make some slits in the metal so that I can bend the pieces back and just break off all of the metal except for the little piece of the metal rim. The can edges can be a little bit sharp, so you may want to wear some gloves. I don't usually bother doing that because I like to be able to feel the can in my hand. But if you are concerned about cutting your hands, you might want to wear a pair of gloves for this step. And you know me, I like to use the sides of the can for other projects. And then stay tuned to the end because I'll share another fun little steampunk project using the bottom of the cans. So there's the ring, and you might have a couple of little sharp edges. If you want to, you can file those down. We'll be covering those up uh, in a little bit, so don't worry too much about it. So these two cans are going to make up the actual goggle shape. And I've got my template taped on this can already. I'm going to end up cutting both of them exactly the same way. So the first thing I want to do is I put a piece of blue painter's tape about a quarter of an inch from down from where the bend is in the top of the can. If you want to make deeper goggles, you can put the tape down farther, but I kind of like this distance for mine. The next thing I wanted to do is make the side shape. So I just made a piece of tape that's three inches along the top edge and then an uh, inch and three quarters from the top to the tip. And I just kind of drew a curve so that it's a symmetrical shape. And you're gonna add that to the can as well. And then directly across from the can, you need a little tab that measures three quarters of an inch from top to bottom and about a half an inch wide. And then I've drawn along a black line where you're going to cut. So you're going to cut the tab out along here, cut out the sides and along the top here again and back down to the tab. When you're done, this is what your cut shape should look like. For this next step, I'm going to be using some metal tape. You can find it at the hardware stores. I think they use it for duct work, <laughs> but it's also a fun crafting toy to have. If you don't have any metal tape, don't worry. You can also use your, painter, your blue painter's tape for this step. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bend my little tabs out, sort of at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to use some tape to secure the two pieces together. So once I have the pieces hooked together, I want to go ahead and cover up all my sharp edges. And to do that, I'm just going to use a thin piece of tape again. You can use the painter's tape or the metal tape and just run a thin edge wrapped all the way around all of your sharp edges. I've got all my edges taped now, and it, so this is the basic shape of the goggles. And it's time to think about how you want to decorate them. I'm going to be using some gold metallic spray paint for my base color. So I want to spray paint my goggle shapes, my little hoops. I've got a few pony beads here that I want to, I want to make gold, so I'm going to spray paint them as well. And then I need a little bit of tape in my base color also. 
So just think about the things that you want to decorate your goggles with and if you want them to be the base color you can go ahead and spray paint them now or you can add them later in a contrasting color. So while I'm waiting for my paint to dry I'm going to go ahead and prep the lenses for my goggles and I've just got a piece of parchment paper here that I'm going to squeeze some hot glue onto. So I've had my hot glue heating up here and I'm just going to kind of draw a circle about the size of my lenses, maybe a little bit smaller because it's going to be kind of thick. <clears throat> then I'm going to lay another piece of parchment paper on top. And I'm going to go ahead and use my iron just to flatten those out some more. And once they're as big as my lenses, I'm going to go ahead and let that cool off. So once the glue is cooled, you'll have a thin little sheet of the hot glue. And the next step is to take some colored tissue paper. And I'm just going to lay it on top of my pieces. And then we're going to heat it up again. You want to make sure that you're heating it up enough to get the tissue paper to stick to the glue. And you'll notice that it starts getting a little bit darker as that wax on the paper melts and the glue kind of adheres to the tissue paper. So once you've got it all adhered together, you want to let that cool off completely. I've let my hot glue cool off again. And now I just want to peel my piece off of my parchment paper. The next thing I want to do is take my ring and I'm going to cut out the lenses from the hot glue. You want to put the rough side down and it should kind of hold the ring in place while you cut around the edge. And you want to cut the shape just a hair bigger than the ring itself. Once that's done, I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm using the tip just to remelt the glue to kind of attach it to the ring shape. You can add a little bit more glue if you need to, but I found that all I needed to do was just reheat the glue that the lens was made out of to attach the two pieces together. So I'm ready to attach my lenses and I've cut a thin strip of my spray painted tape and I'm just gonna use it to attach the pieces together. You want to attach the pieces so that the hot glued lens is sandwiched between the two rings. There's the basic shape ready to be decorated. You can see here that I've glued on some of the pony beads to add a little more steampunk look to the goggles. And I'm also adding more of an antique finish to my gold paint. To do this, I'm just dabbing on some black acrylic paint. I'm using my finger. You can use a brush if you'd rather. And then I'm dabbing most of the paint back off with a paper towel. So it's time for our little extra project that I told you about. And to make this, you need the bottom of your two cans. And what you're going to do with those is you're going to make sort of a bead shape. If you need more details on how to make this, I will put a link in the description box to a link on how to make several different types of beads from aluminum cans. And then all you need is a little bit of chain. And if you want to color your pocket watch, you can use, I'm using the gold metallic spray paint. You need just a little paper template of a watch face and your Mod Podge. And from that, you can make a cute little pocket watch. Earlier I mentioned that you could use uh, the painter's tape or metal tape, but I just wanted to show you the difference. So if you do use the painter's tape, you're going to have a little bit of a texture here. And the metal tape, you just get a nice smooth finish. The other thing I like about the metal tape is that it has some paper backing, so it's just a little bit easier to work with. But if you don't want the added expense, like I said, you can use a regular painter's tape. So here are my finished goggles. I made a couple of pairs. This pair I just put on some 
Dollar Tree glasses so that I could wear them kind of like more of a headband. You can also certainly attach a, an elastic strap or something to them. Like I said, I have my little pony beads glued around the edge here. This was just a silly double ring that I never wore that was sort of a fancy key that I added. I painted some washers. As I mentioned before, I have a lot of different watch parts, so I added some of those. This was sort of a hook that I had in my metal stash. And again, some more watch parts and things over here. For my second pair, I made this silly cardboard hat um, and added a leather strap, some more watch parts, a couple of keys over here. And then I did a little bit of embossing on this uh, pair as well. Look around your stash, find all of your fun metal pieces, and have some fun with this project. If you'd like to see the completed costumes, check the, for the link in the description box of this video. I'll be posting some photos on my blog. Be sure to check out more aluminum can projects by clicking or tapping your screen now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.